I'm going to show you how to use a metal curry comb. You're going to place it on the horse's back. Be careful you don't hit the backbone, because that could hurt them. Just go down. Avoid their flank, which is right here. That's very ticklish. So you're just going to lightly press down. This is commonly used to help a horse shut out. This guy during the winter has such a thick coat that it takes forever to come out in the summer and spring. So I have to help him shed. So you would just go like this, very lightly and gently to avoid pain to the horse. And eventually, if they're still in their winter coat, you'll the curry comb will be, get full of hair. And you'll just have to pull it out very gently. Don't mind the barks. Yeah. And if there's a fence, that's because my camera woman is a little horse shy. So, that's, if you see the fence, that's why. So, just going to be very gentle. And the horse is pretty good right now, so I'm going to show you how to comb. Just There's another horse that we normally do videos on. Okay. This is not a normal horse comb, but it'll do. It's basically a cat comb, but it'll do if you don't have a horse comb. So you're just going to find the strand of the hair and gently brush it, brush it out. Kind of like when you're brushing your hair in the morning when you have to go to school or something. You're just going to brush it. But gently, because it hurts when you pull it. You're just going to comb it. Combing and haltering and brushing are commonly used if you're going to show your horse. But it also helps the horse's health by keeping them healthy and strong. And it keeps the burrs out of their mane, so it's a lot more comfortable for them. The burrs. Burrs, yeah. Sorry, I have a little bit of a country accent that comes out when I don't mean it to. So you, now if you have some hard tangles at the end, you're just gonna grab it just like this, and then go like this. That way the horse doesn't feel anything. Most horses like being groomed because when you groom a horse, it's basically saying you want to be friends. So grooming is a great way to know and to get to know a new horse. So I already brushed his tail out a few days ago. So it's still pretty tangle free, but you're probably going to want to do this once or twice a week if you want your horse to keep a nice tail. And mane. And mane, yes. And you see these hairs right here at the bottom of his feet? Those are called feathers. Not like the feathers on a bird, but, if, but they keep the rain and some of the mud off of the hoof. When it goes down the leg, and it goes right down the hairs. So it keeps some of it off of the hoof. So like, the comb would get full of hair too. So you're just gonna pull it out and then toss it to where the horses can't get it. Because if the horses eat the hair, they can choke on it. And nobody wants a dead horse. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so when you, he's a little mad right now, but when their ears are just side to side, and kind of like with a relaxed look, those are called airplane ears. So that means they're happy, happy to be alive. Horses can make many different sounds, and I'll make a video on that later. But, for now, that's how you groom a horse. 